Hello everybody. Hey, this is Doug Friend from Historical Board Gaming. Hey, it's Saturday morning here. I'm back up at the office. I wanted to give a quick run through on our 2025 meltdown project. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the game has been done or, or finished for a while. I've been going through it. We've just been going through some things here and there and uh, want to make sure it's it, it's all good. We just have a couple little minor things, but we are pushing through with this project. If you, people who go to the website, if you go to the Global War and go down to 2025, it's there and rules download. You can download the rules right here. Okay. And I am going to, well, I guess I'll download them. So they're right here. They're finished. The artwork uh, is done very well. We've got a couple little minor things. Like I want to put a Swedish rondel here for the neutral. A couple of people say, why do you always use Sweden for neutral? Well, uh, to me, that's iconic. Um, I think it's, 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 it just fits for me. Uh, no matter what I put, I'm going to have someone who's not happy with my choice, but that's just the way it is. But download the rules. Please go through them. If you see any mistakes, please get back with us on this because we do want to get this, um, you know, put in a booklet form and we want to make it as right as we can. So I appreciate if everyone goes through it and looks at it. It's only, uh, what, 26 pages long? So it's not too bad. Uh, it's a fun game. So there's the rules. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, get out of that. So I already had the rules there. What I want to show you next is the map. The map is finished. Um, it's it's really nice. It's not as large as the you know the big global games, but um, of course it's it's bigger than this on my computer screen. But um, the, you can see as the territories are larger, so it's a faster paced game. Uh, it doesn't take as long. Uh, you know, we're, I think most of the games that we've played are three to four hours, so. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. So I just wanted to give you a look at some of what's going on with the map. So you can see over here are some holding boxes and then there. So I'm going to get rid of that. And we've got markers that will be in the game. Yes, uh, you know, and a ship ballistic missiles, it, uh, intermediate range ballistic missiles, sub launch ballistic missiles, ICBMs, cruise missiles, nuclear cruise missiles, drones, airborne. So, really fun. So, I'm going to get out of that one. Now, I want to show you we've got a battle board. The one thing I need to change is over here the guided missile destroyer. We've got the old silhouette. So I want to, I got to change that and you're like, well, what are you using? Well, I'll show you in a minute. Um, here's dashboards. It's got the tack, defend, move, cost. Really, you know, again, really done nice. This is the U.S. one with the green. The Chinese has got the red. I mean, they're done. Uh, we're very, very happy with the art. Um, you know, some people's like, well, we don't really like your soldier you know we made it we, we started this project about five years ago i did a lot of research on you know what was projected uh uniform wise uh hardware wise uh rules were being done and stuff like that and of course things have changed over time um the art was done i spent a lot of money on the art and i didn't want to go back it's still to me i think for 2025 which is five years from now very plausible that you know this stuff is going to be like this but uh I don't, uh, you know, it's a fun game. I don't think anyone's going to complain, hopefully. So there's that. You know, we got an IPP chart. Got some nice art in there. You got the starting uh, rondels uh, there. This is a, uh, a reference sheet. This will be on the back of all the setup sheets. Just gives you the technology, phase sequence, turn sequence, ordinates. So we got that. And then we have, there's the US, that's, you know, a setup sheet where everything is. And last, we've got a technology breakthrough sheet. All the different factions and what you can 
go after for te technology. It ended up really nice. Which comes to our last, which is the models. Models are uh, being started in, uh, you know, the masters. So what did I wanted to show you, there's going to be a couple changes what we had. Of course, we have a, for the U.S., there's going to be two molds. There's going to be a U.S. mold, U.S., I should say, hardware, and then Chinese. And the U.S. will be done in the U.S. green, the NATO blue, and the Pacific Coalition uh, gold. And then the Chinese will be done in the Chinese red, the Russian brown, and the Caliphate black. The one thing, okay, so the Gerald Ford class carrier, of course, we got the America LHD, we've got a um, Arleigh Burke um, destroyer, and that was a Zumwalt, which was that um, stealth looking one. We actually have it in some of the art, and that was what was projected to be, but they only made three, canceled the project because of cost overruns and everything, and they decided, hey, we're just going to upgrade our early Burks and uh, make them better and uh, add more stuff to them. I'm like, oh, great. So I had to change it. I wanted to make sure that in 2025 that we have the equipment. Now, the Zumwalt, some people say, oh, that's such a cool sculpt, and it is, and we will have it. It'll probably be a, an expansion, something you can add on, you can buy. It'll be 3D printed. Uh, not a plastic injection. So we got an Independence class frigate that stayed the same, and of course we got a. I think that's a uh, Virginia. Yeah, Virginia class attack sub. We got an M uh, M one A three Abrams. Originally, that was going to be some kind of modular tank uh, that the U.S. is working on, and I, I had it all. Uh, all modeled up and everything, and then when they said they were going to go with the M1A3, we had to change it back. F-35 fighter, we got, this was going to be a different sculpt, the, the attack helicopter. They were going with this real small one, and they decided not to. So they're upgrading their Apaches. So we have an Apache helicopter, and we have a futuristic-looking soldier. Now, some people, we did get some feedback on that, and they didn't like it. And back here, as you can see, if I can get you a, a better view, we have a Chinese soldier, okay? And it's a little bit more characteristic of what's going on today. So, of all these models, I'm having my a modeler fix the two infantry guys. So it doesn't look so, I don't know, halo looking, you know, on this guy. So I think you're gonna be happy with, and I'll show them to you once I get them. And then we got a Chinese helicopter. I think it's a WZ-10. You got the J-31 fighter, which looks very close to ours. Imagine that. And then you got a Type 99 tank, which I think is pretty cool. This is the A version. Uh, we originally had a Type 99, and they just came out with the latest and greatest. That sell I'm like okay. So there was a few changes. We, you know, we added the fuel tanks in the back. We got some grenade launchers there. Uh, I had some stuff up here in the front of the hull that I thought looked cool. So anyway, that's that's their tank. And then they've got a attack sub. They got their frigate, their destroyer. Again, very nice, very nice modern looking. LHD, which looks real similar to ours, but it is the Chinese version. Um, I'd be lying to you if I told you Type 75. And the carriers for the Chinese, you know, they, they, they bought a Russian carrier. They bought a, uh, a carrier from India. You know, they've been studying them. They're building their own carriers. Um, they're really going hog wild on their carriers. So what we did was we picked the Russian one that um, they have a couple of. We've got the ski jump front end. A little different than the American one, I thought. It's still a super carrier, as you can see. Still big. So these are scaled to what they're going to be in the game. So anyway, this is all the models. And we're going to start in production. And this is how it's going to work. Um, 
people say, are you going to box this game? Uh, no, we are not. Um, it is just costs so much money. There's so many people having problems with production in China and getting all their games assembled, uh, things like that. So we're going to do the same thing. I mean, you got to buy the map and you'll get the play aids. Uh, don't know how many of them will come with the game, probably the IPP chart, battle boards, things like that. And you'll download, uh, the course, the rules. We'll have some as a booklet as well. And all the pieces, we will have them as a set with the game. So you can buy the whole set of pieces with the correct number to play. And uh, they'll be discounted, of course. You know, they won't be the usual five for 345 or whatever. We'll, we'll give you a nice discounted price so you can have all the playable pieces. And we do have a lot of models that we did 3D model on for the, some of the other factions. And I've had some people going like, well, you know, I saw some of the NATO ones and I saw some of the Russian models you had and some of the Pacific Coalition and even the Caliphate. We modeled a uh, carrier that was basically out of a, um, a tanker and we, we, we put a uh, flat deck on it and all this stuff and it looks pretty neat. I mean, you can tell it's a tanker with a flat deck. We like, ah, eh. Will was like, hey, yeah, they confiscated an old tanker and they built their own carrier out of it. So <clears throat> we, ha we have that. So we can 3D model, uh, 3D print these for you and, and, and buy them. But uh, someone else has suggested that we kickstart another mold. So what we're doing here is we're making two molds, the U.S. faction and the Chinese faction. And the reason I picked the Chinese, because they were, uh, five years ago, to me, they were the up-and-coming military might. You know, they were building a lot of stuff. I'm like, man, they're going to be, you know, a, a force to be reckoned with. So I went with that. But, you know, if we can kickstart one, because these molds are expensive, and some people go, well, I really want the uh, NATO uh, equipment. Well, we'll kickstart. And it's not that much. It's not like I have to raise, you know, $50,000 to, uh, you know, to start a mold. You know, if I can get uh, uh, enough people committed to buy, I want the NATO mold in the blue with the appropriate equipment, you know, we'll do it. You know, so we'll, we'll get some feedback on that. And then if people still want it, you know, after that, I figured people might want the Russian mold. And then after that, maybe the Pacific Coalition, which, you know, has the Japanese and the Indians um, and, and uh, South Korea, uh, Taiwan, things like over there. Some neat, neat equipment. So we'll just see how all that goes. So I just wanted to give you an update on the 2025. I hope you follow on our Facebook page, we have a Facebook 2025. Give us some feedback. Uh, I'll post it there. Also, I'll I'll share it to the Historical Board Gaming um, Facebook page. And I want everyone. To, I appreciate everyone going to it, giving us some feedback, what your thoughts are. Um, again, I don't know the t price yet, but uh, we are getting very close to getting this thing finished up for you guys. Thank you. Appreciate everyone following. Take care.